Hello everyone, welcome to our Chinese calligraphy lesson for beginners. My name is Becky. Today I would like to share with you how to write the basic stroke Hong in Xiao Zhuan style calligraphy. Okay, this uh, all Hong, Hong basically means horizontal stroke, which we mostly write from the left to right. Okay, for writing Hong uh, with the brush, you need to pay attention to these two tips. The first one is Cang Feng. Cang means to hide. Feng means this brush. So we need to hide the brush tape inside the stroke. Uh, for example, this horizontal stroke, uh, we basically write from the left to right. But actually at the beginning, we need to go to the left a little bit, then turn around the tape then hide the tape in the middle of the stroke, then move left, move to the right. Okay, the second, the second thing is zhong feng, zhong means middle, um, we, which means we need to keep the tip of the brush in the middle of the stroke, it's like this. And when we write zhong feng, the calligraphy, uh, the calligraphy brush should be vertical. Okay, when we write on the paper, it's like this. Okay, now let me show you how to write Hung on the paper. Okay, you can look at this Hung. At the beginning, I write to the left a little bit and then turn around, then press it. This is very important. Press it until the same uh, size as the top one, then move. Okay, uh, this is to exaggerate. Uh, when we write in the character, we don't need to stop for so long, just to show you, so I uh, s uh, write slowly. Okay, one more time. One more time. To the left a little bit, then turn around, then press to uh, manage the, the tip brush, the brush tip, then go left, go right. Okay, when you press the brush here, you can find some kind of PowerPoint. So only when you find a PowerPoint, you can move to the right because um, if you don't find the power, the PowerPoint, it seems like your brush is not flexible and not powerful. See, every stroke is powerful. And by the way, we only use at most one second of the brush tip. We don't use the whole brush. Mostly we use about one fifth to one third of the brush. Okay, you can see all these hung uh, with difference. I can also write like this. But small, but it's still powerful. That's very important. Okay, you can see, because I go left, then an arc, then turn around, then press, then go. So all these beginnings are round, because there has like some kind of like this. I turn, turn left, and then draw, and then turn around, and then press, find the PowerPoint, and then go. Got it? Okay, at the beginning you can practice like uh, a stroke with 10 centimeters to 20 centimeters because if you write longer the stroke, it will be easier for you. 
But in real characters, we don't need to write so long. It depends on what character you are writing. Okay, that's all about Heng. In next lesson, we'll learn how to use Heng in characters. See you in next lesson.